name's Albert. It's a lovely day in Boslem, and I'm outside the town hall. That's now known Ceramica. Dressed up in traditional potter's clothes, with a saga on me head. What's a saga, you might ask? Well, I'll tell thee. But first, I've got to find Kim and take a little walk, 15 mile, for Donna Louise Trust, treetops. Ah, she's here with our Val and Jean Goff the daughter of the late, great Sir Stanley Matthews. I can remember watching Sir Stan playing for Stoke when I were a lad. This is Keith Meeson. He's dressed up a bit like me. Over the years, Keith has completed many walks for charity and raised a lot of dosh. The MP, Joan Molly, and Lady Mare S, and Jean Goff, and Pete Conway, all waved us off as Boslem's golden angel looked down. Nothing set the pottery skyline apart more than the weird bottle-shaped brick buildings that looked for all the world like they'd been borrowed from a fairy tale scene. Dressed at China Gardens. So who's getting them in then? Tell Keith mine's half. BBC Radio Stoke kept track of what we were doing and where we were as we found the remaining bottle ovens. Finally, five hours, 15 miles and 47 bottle kilns later, we arrived at Gladstone Pottery Museum. I tell you what, Kim, I'd swap Keith's feet for my sore bum any day. <laughs> oh, it don't half hurt when I laugh. Pass me my cushion, Kim. <laughs> 